Okay, so the uh, the unit itself actually controls eight zones are available to the unit. So it can control simultaneously eight separate zones within the uh, within the system. Now these are simultaneous and they are discrete, which means that each individual zone can be set up to do a completely different mix or a completely different sound function. So you simply can uh, select whichever zone you particularly want um, within the system and it can be set up and sound completely differently here. Now, if uh, people are watching this uh, recording uh, using a stereo, stereo speakers from your PC or, or, uh, or your laptop or whatever you're using um, would be good because you'll be able to hear on your left channel uh, zone uh, and on your right channel on another different zone completely. Or you could use a pair of headphones. That would be helpful. So this screen is actually designed for the end user to use. So it's quite simple in its layout. Uh, simply select, as I said, and then basically just dial in here with your faders the inputs that you want to listen to within that zone. Fairly simple and easy. So here we have a bar zone and in that, um, as you can see, the mic that I'm using is actually plugged into the system here on both zones equally. But I can select one form of music and that should be coming out one side. Now I can actually, on the zone two, the, the second zone, have exactly the same or I could actually change that to uh, be a different type of music in a different area. So that's, um, this can go on to for all eight separate zones are available and I can just turn those off. Now going through the areas here you can label these uh, at an administrator level um, so if you put an administrator password in you can actually change these areas here, the, the labels that you need um, and also be able to change the, the names of the inputs here to whatever you require. Now you can mix any of those four mic line inputs together simultaneously and you can select one of the, uh, the, imp the line inputs, five line inputs, six line inputs, seven and off. All of this information, all of the information that's being mixed together or selected here is controlled with a master this is the mix master and it levels up and levels back down. So the system can actually uh, be muted on its output per zone or on any of its inputs within a, uh, a given zone. So if I mute something in zone 1, it doesn't get muted in zone 2. But it is muted in zone 1. I can mute the single zone itself entirely within this system. So if I mute uh, zone 1 here, then my voice will be only actually heard on the uh, recording on one side. There's also a global mute and a soft standby button available to be accessed. Now, global mute will mute all zones within the system, so the system no longer passes audio to its outputs uh, in case you wanted to quickly uh, basically lock out the system. When I click that, a, uh, a guide will come up here and tell me that uh, are you sure you want to do this because it's pretty devastating to the entire system you're affecting more than one zone are you sure we'll click no today um, soft standby now soft standby puts the uh, units into a uh, power saving mode for the for the um, uh, the processor the processor then uses less power and less power consumption so it could be a, a form of turning it off. It's a standby mode for the system. Uh, the amplifiers also have this, but that's, uh, that's a, a completely different uh, feature. So this is the, uh, the user interface screen um, within its, its section here. I will also show and demonstrate um, that we will log out of administrator mode here. And we're now as a, a regular user of the product, so I, I can no longer now uh, connect, disconnect, or have my DSP. It's all been greyed out in this area. But I can actually go to this preset um, area. Now within the preset area, I can actually recall different settings within the system. So I could actually click recall 
for a different configuration of the eight zones. Whether I've combined rooms or uh, set up, you know, different things within the bar for an, a band or something like that, or a jazz trio or something. Those things, if there's a regular act, I could actually, as a user, I don't need to have much knowledge of the system to be able to recall different scenes or scenarios or presets within the system. Very, very powerful feature, especially for venues that get used a lot in different ways. So I can simply recall. As an administrator, I can actually set these up, but as a user, I can only recall them. So I can actually check on uh, the different devices as well as a user within this screen. I can see that what panels are actually being used for what functions here. A little bit of problem solving in case there is an issue. Uh, I can connect device information or I can log in as the administrator again. So if I was an administrator on this screen, I simply click this and type in my password and I'm back as an administrator. Now the administrator can also, as you can see there, set up, store, clear, all of these different functions within the system. Okay. So that should be that within the system. Bosch. Invented for life.